Hello everybody, my name is Sam Harkin, and it has been quite a long 2016. We've, we've seen Donald Trump rise to power, we have seen Brexit somehow transpire, we have you know, had Prince die and David Bowie die. So, for this video, I just want to kind of, I'm going to try and help heal, so I thought what I would do is indulge in a little bit of uh, fantasy and, and you know see where that lead us leads us so um today we have you know just at the end of December at the end of the year one a last fantasy a final fan fiction uh, which I, I invite you to close your eyes and and just imagine with me so there was once a great southern land that was ruled with an iron fist by a red-haired witch. She tried to destroy everything, but there was a brave hero who we, we all disrespected, but we, we really needed at that time to get us through the hardships of our life in Australia. He was a great man. He was, he was misunderstood. He knew just what to say, but sometimes people didn't appreciate that honesty and that intense need for this unbelievable truth that he would give to us. He was a great man, and he has since fallen by the wayside. He no longer leads. He should be our great and powerful leader, but he is no longer. He is merely one of the the leader's disciples, his opponent. It's 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 difficult to believe that there has been such a a change in the tides. This great man, this great warrior for truth, has been disregarded by the populace. Instead, what he must now do is he must search for the relic. He must search for the relic which hides true intelligence and true unknown truth from unknown languages, from the ancient ones. You must quest for this. This relic only referred to by the great leader himself as the suppository of wisdom. Oh my god, somebody made a Tony Abbott RPG. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. So this is a thing that I found out about a while ago, and I am super excited to play it. Oh my god. Also, I didn't mean all those things about, like, Julia Gillard being an evil witch or anything. Um, but oh my god, this is a thing. I possibly should be playing Final Fantasy. I've never played a Final Fantasy game because, you know, I just wasn't into it at the time. And I'm still kind of not completely into Final, uh, into High Fantasy, but we'll see. I might have to play that. But oh my god, I have to play it. This is the priority game, people. I mean, this is, this is truth this is a documentary in game form <laughs> oh my god this is gonna be amazing let's just play this shit okay let's not just play this shit let's now let's play this shit oh no do I have to do voices for everyone I don't remember what everybody's voices sound like I only do just like really stereotypical like Russian stuff or whatever okay I don't believe- God. God. Oh, this is gonna be a train- This is a- I mean, this is somewhat of a train wreck because it's an Australian political game. But me trying to do voices. Oh dear. I don't believe it. After everything I've done for this party, they've dumped me. And now I have to face the press. Oh no. Is that you, Malcolm? It's Joe. Yep, I totally know who all these political people are. Sorry, Tony. Oh my god, maybe I should have made Tony Abbott Italian. No, I'm not going to do that. 
Hey, sorry, Tony. We tried our best, but it looks like Malcolm is in charge now, eh? Okay. It's okay, Joe. Maybe I should make him Crocodile Dundee. Oh, this is going to be terrible. It's okay, Joe. I know you are by my side the whole way. I just don't understand where we went wrong. I mean, we stopped the boats. <laughs> yep. We axed the tax. Did people really want more than... Well, yeah. I mean, people are unreasonable. But here's, here's, here's the truth that I will drop onto the um, situation. I totally don't like politics, but I can also appreciate that holy fuck, you're trying to babysit the entire fucking country. That's kind of terrifying. Um, do people want more than that? I guess we'll never know, even though politics is continuing, so you, you will find out probably. Who the fuck is this guy? Eric. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Mein Führer, this is an outrage. We will continue to fight for you and the party. Until death, guerrilla warfare, whatever it takes. Welcome, we'll pay for this treachery. Jesus, this is this is terrible. Nah, no, Eric. For now, we just need to lay low. Let Malcolm have his day in the spotlight. His time will come. Okay. All these people, and I just don't know who they are. Peter. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> oh no, I have to remember all the voices now. We were just concerning Tony. <laughs> we're just consulting Tony on losing his leadership spill. Oh, is that what, it, what that was? I thought it was a ruffle. I picked the right voice. Perfect. This political business is all a bit confusing, isn't it? I thought you used to be a detective. Uh. Okay, team. It's time to make my final speech. Good luck, boss. Good luck, boss. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> oh shit. We're already crowd today, eh? My greatest privilege has been to res represent the coal lobby and bankers of. Bankers, uh, people of Australia. Fortunately, uh, no one man can, uh, be the, uh, suppository of all wisdom. Of course. Of course we had to just pop that line in there just to remind people. Just as a fun fact, in case you don't know, I believe the correct word to be using is depository of all wisdom. I, I'm assuming. One way or another, it's definitely not the suppository, because the suppository is like an adjective used to describe like medicine that you take rectally. So that would be, you know, like taking like omega-3 fatty acids and Adderall up the arse. So, no. No, it's not that, Tony. I promise not to do anything to undermine the leadership of Malcolm Turnbull. Mm, that sounds like a, like a PR talk. As the will of the party, I resign my position as Captain of Dream Australia. Oh, you dork. Stop taking pictures of my shame. Oh no, it's slowing down. He's like... Uh. Final Fantasy 15. No, but seriously, this time it's... it's <laughs> really? Really? Oh boy, this is a tough one to spell, eh? <laughs> I think... And to think I have an English to... Does he have an English degree and he used the word suppository? Oh my god. Final Fantasy 15. Another one. Despite the fact that we originally said that it was final. So, you know. The spill. Oh no, someone dropped their tea or coffee. What's happening? Hey, it wasn't so bad. I just got kicked out into the into the hallway. I'm sure glad it's over though. I don't think any furniture, any journalists followed me. Hopefully, they still don't know about this service exit. Okay. Well, they do now. Can I get some help? Oh my God! I heard about this. There's a tutorial onion. 
Welcome to the Tony Abbott and the Quest for Suppository of Wisdom Hotline. Due to privatization of public services, ooh, burn. I guess I'm a bit short on change at the moment. Wait, what? Oh, so I have to need a. I need to find. Really, I have to find money to then be able to get the tutorial. Are you kidding? Where the hell do I do that? Okay, can I go back this way? Not going back in there. Okay, cool. Is there any spare change left in the vending machine? Oh, sick! <laughs> it worked. For advice on controls, press 1. Let's start with that. Oh, okay. Use the cursor keys. Oh, I can run. Cool. Oh, really? Can you give me... Really? That was my tutorial. I could have learned, like, anything, and now all I know is, Oh, here's how I move faster. Hey. BuzzFeed journalist. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Tony, not so fast. I still have a few questions for you. Are you fucking kidding me? I wasn't given a tutorial! Uh, not BuzzFeed. What do you do? What are you doing? Tweeting a spill with animated GIFs? There was a spill? Wait, I wasn't told about it. Where's you? <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I don't mind them taking the piss out of BuzzFeed, to be honest, because they have been they have been going a little bit off the wall. They had a um, video recently that was like, women try man spreading, and it was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? So what are you writing? It's a think piece called These 90s Cartoon Perfectly Predicted the Liberal Party Leadership Spill. Oh my god. Yep, that's quality BuzzFeed. I'm a serious journalist. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay. BuzzFeed journalist emerged. Oh, now you've come crawling back, have you? Okay, this is the argument mode for Tony Abbott and the quest for the Suppository of Wisdom. The aim of each argument is to reduce your opponent's willpower to zero, and then they shoot themselves in the face. Uh, to avoid being targeted, you can break eye contact by looking away. You can perform a basic attack by selecting argue. Try arguing with the BuzzFeed journalist. Uh, argue. Take that. I make a compelling point, allegedly. Oh, I also, he also made a compelling point. Keep doing it. Murder him. Some actions require a certain number of concentration points to carry out. For Tony, these abilities will be found under special. So this, uh, the concentration is like manner, essentially. Nod silently. Oh my god, I know what that's a reference to. You nod silently. Oh no! What? Oh yeah, <laughs> he's confused. Of course he is. That's why. Oh. Okay. Doo -doo. Other abilities require a certain number of frustration points. As each argument draws on, the participants become more and more frustrated. Most basic frust. Oh, okay, so there's like a. Oh, that's cool. So there's an ability that, like, if you get, like, annoyed. So it's like if you're taking damage, you're also taking frustration, and then you can do a better attack. That's cool. I like that. I'm presuming that there's probably a similar thing in, like, Final Fantasy or something like that. But I'm still pretty enthusiastic. Do it. I swore. <gasps> ask an invasive question. No. Don't do that. Don't ask me about me spilling my whatever. Who cares? You're already dead. Oh, you're not? Okay, cool. Ha ha ha. I've murdered you by yelling at you enough. Oh, s <laughs> they've got actual. That's like the actual Australian dollar. That's nice. Do I have any? Well, I want. I want to get my bloody tutorial. <laughs> Is there anything that I don't know? Inventory. <laughs> For general advice, get your shit together, Tony. <laughs> okay. Oh well, I've already paid, so I might as well get something. Quest advice. You don't have any quests. Fuck, I just wasted a dollar. Da, 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 da. Biohazard? What the fuck? 
I don't like foreign food. Okay, cool. <laughs> that shouldn't be that surprising, I guess. Do you want to leave the tutorial of it? Well, is there anything else to do here? It's closed. Oh my god. So I think I have to leave the tutorial level area. Kind of feel like going this way though. Run away, run away from the the parliament. Oh wow, it took us a long time to leave. Well, it's getting late. Might as well walk back to the lodge. Since it's such lovely Canberra weather. Okay. Is that you, Malcolm? Oh no, it's someone that I have to remember the voice of. Hey boss, since it was the last night we got in the lodge, we're f throwing a big party for you. It's already getting pretty wild. That became less Italian. People are just jumping around. Is anyone throwing up? Is that a picture of John Howard? <laughs> okay, so we got John Howard. Oh wait, I'm already here. I thought it was like a cutscene. I wanna, I wanna, um, admire my senpai. No, I can't, okay. That's cool. Oh, there we go. Hey, girl, you drunk as hell. They're sleeping. Okay. Somebody likes, there's a couple of smashed bottles of red wine. What's up? Quite a party, isn't it, boss? Oh, no, there's so many extra voices. Let's let off some steam, Bennett. I mean, Abbott. <laughs> Cool house. No. Oh. Can I not talk to the cool guy with the awesome white hair? That's upsetting. Oh, what? You're just gonna ignore me? I was the prime minister. You wouldn't have ignored the prime fucking minister, would you? All these people don't want to talk to me. Fuck you guys. We will destroy Malcolm for his treachery. <laughs> Kevin. Is that supposed to be Kevin Rudd? I hope that it's not, because that's not what it looks like at all. That's the one person I can't be like, Yes, I have some idea. I believe the team of Tony Abbott and Julia Gillard is the best leadership team for the Liberal Party, and therefore, part of the best leadership for the Coalition for the Country. Okay. Peter. Thank God you're here. We left Dutton in charge of picking up the wine, but the idiot only got the cheapest bottles because he thought he had to pay for it himself. Somehow he didn't even think of writing it off as an expense. Oh, he's got a couple of screw loose in that one. Did you know he used to be a detective? Oh, is that that other guy? That guy that I gave like the stupid voice? Oh yeah, it was. Wait, I think it was. Anyway, here's a bottle of Penfolds Grange Hermitage 1951 in the line cellar. Sure, it's a 38,000 bottle. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. Oh, I'm sorry. Sure, it's 38000 a bottle, but we can just bill the taxpayers for it. Good fi Go find it, will you? I can't drink any more of this toilet cleaner. <laughs> Alright. Whoa, I got attacked by some... I didn't... I don't know we had rats in the lodge. Really, though? You're gonna argue with a fucking mouse? Yeah, exactly. Of course it's unaffected. It's a fucking rat. Nod silently. Confuse it. Sweet. I succeeded in confusing it. I can't yell it. Nod. What's taking so long? There's a rat down here. <laughs> and you're arguing with it. Yep, I feel the same way. Well, the onion said that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Tony? Just get the bloody wine. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, oh, come on. Do I have to just go down to the very end? Oh, for God's sake, where is it? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's where I keep all my policy ideas. Oh! Burn! Why can't you just ask her where the fuck the wine is? Where's the wine? Oh, you're a fucking asshole. I'm waiting on that wine. Why don't you just, like, get it despite not knowing where it is? Jeez. 
Um, go to air conditioning. Wait, that's my diary. I must have put it on the bookshelf by mistake. Oh, okay. Which one? Oh, thank you. Wait, so how do I access? Okay. Items. None. Okay. Maybe it's key items? There we go. Oh, okay. I should be able to find it now. So does that just mean, like, wherever I, I just look at the the rack, it's just going to be like, Oh, it's there! S despite the fact that it wasn't last time I looked. Come on. Oh. I still have to look through all of them. There it bloody is. The finest Australian wine in the year past which we should never have progressed. Hey, hey, hey. That's about enough policy changes. About fucking time. So can I have some or are you just gonna you just gonna have it yourself? Hey Tony, what's this? Nice. You just like body slammed my fucking table. You did it again. Can you stop that please? I'm gonna break the foundation. Are you seriously just in- you're gonna destroy my house, aren't you? Joe, you fuck. You destroyed my house. You just body slammed my house into next week. Really? You only destroyed that one? I guess it wasn't a lord bearing marble table. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> Collateral damage. We should each take a shot as a loyalty to our supreme leader. Jesus Christ, it's like that Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, friendship hand thing all over again, jeez. Here, here, we can work together to reimpose our narrow conservative views. Let's do it. We can obstruct all of Malcolm's moderate ideas, bind him in a stranglehold and force him out of power. I, I know I could count on my team. But first we have to turn people... Oh, I forgot. How we do that? He's so popular. If we can force his hand in the Senate, make him run with all our conservative policies, everyone will hate him then. Tony got a marble shard. He also lost a table. <laughs> right of that, let's kick this party on. Yeah, I can't remember like all the voices. Tony is drunk. <laughs> Good to know. I'm I'm looking forward to this section. Come on, let's see Tony being drunk. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, isn't that cute? They've both got fucking John Howard portraits. Oh my god. And one of them's got a turtle. And they're gonna wake up suddenly and start screaming or something. Oh, what the fuck is this? I wanted to say that's John Howard, but it really doesn't look like John Howard. Is it Julia Gillard? Oh my god, no. Him? <laughs> ah! Oh, you're finally awake. <laughs> Who are you? How did you get in here? Don't you recognize me, the Iron Lady? <laughs> <laughs> But the ironing lady comes on Thursdays, my <laughs> Not the ironing lady, you numbskull. The iron lady, Margaret Thatcher. For fuck's sake, this was already, like, crazy enough where, where we have, you know, tons of Australian politicians I don't know, and now we've got fucking Margaret... The ghost of Margaret Thatcher. And also, you know, he, he doesn't necessarily respect women, so why would you have Margaret Thatcher? <laughs> Margaret Thatcher, Braille, you did. Well, yes, I'm a ghost, obviously. That's why you can see through me. You really are a bit dim, aren't you? Yes. What are you doing here? I've come to tell you that what you said in your speech was not, wasn't entirely accurate. What? What do you mean? You said that no one can be the suppository of all wisdom, and while it is true that no person can be a suppository, such an artifact does exist. Oh my god. 
a suppository that has removed room to contain within it all the wisdom of neoliberalism. <laughs> so not really wisdom so much. In fact, some might say it's the opposite of wisdom, since it flies in the face of rational thought and any economical or social evidence. But that's beside the point, dear. Such a, can such a thing truly exist? I believe so. In fact, I was very close to locating it, blah, 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 blah. After my 36 million pound state funeral service, my ashes were buried in the Royal Hospital Chelsea in London. You must go there if you were to find this repository. Only then will you have true power to take back your place as the golden child of conservative politics. Wait, did you say your ashes were buried? Yes, what of it? Hey, you might say that you're dead, buried, and cremated. Wait, what? I suppose one could say that. Why do you ask? Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Okay, well, then, getting back... It's just sort of like a catchphrase I wanted to... <laughs> really? Dead, buried, and cremated? Uh... You probably heard some of my other ones. Uh, well... Anyway, back to uh, what you were saying about this suppository. Talking to you is really tedious. I can feel my brain cells dying in a single, a second death. Just get to London. I can't bear this conversation lasting any longer. Okay, whatever. Oh my god, that was so crazy. <laughs> Tony is hungover. <laughs> I gotta get to. Oh, it burns, but I gotta get to the airport. Gotta get to Camber Airport. Must get to the suppository. Oh, no one's passed out. Where is... Your map of Canberra can be found under the key items in your inventory. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm gonna walk over your house. I don't give a shit. Radio studio. I'm gonna walk to London. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm walking all over you. Oh no. Poor people emerged. They don't have houses to walk on. Die. Poor people are still people. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Oh, okay. I'm still hungover. That's not good. Fuck. Wow, I'm getting chewed out by these people. Where's my heel? Oh fuck. Knew I shouldn't have gone to a fight hungover. Not silently. Confuse them. God damn it, confuse them! I'm gonna get murdered by these poor people. What I wanna do is walk to London. Is that so unreasonable? Yeah, uh, make a God damn it, keep being confused. God damn it. God damn it, I got murdered. Wait, what? Oh fuck, okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this episode here because I don't wanna do all that shit again. But oh my god, this is a thing that exists. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. Anyway, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching and watch my podcast. Also, watch uh, The Inconsolables. And I made this for you, Calgo. And also, just because I thought it would be funny. So, bye.